Ha ha ha! Eh. Forgot about you guys. I'm gonna have to get better locks. Let me uh, just clear this shit up and I'll be right with you. Hopefully I'm, uh, I'm not too flushed. Uh, that was another long bike ride. 20 miles today. Whew. So today we're going to do Oculus Medium. A little sculpting. My, uh, my wall over here is a little empty. So I'm going to create some, some art. Maybe a, like a mask that kind of looks like this devil mask over here. I made this guy about 20 years ago, and he's uh, made out of paper mache, salute clay, plaster, tin foil, and it is, uh, it's got some dust on it. So I figured maybe I'll do a modern version of this, like a, like, a, like a new interpretation. But I will do it in Oculus Medium, and then I will 3D print it with my Prusa i3 MK2. How cool would that be? Well, all right, we've got we've got a sketch, we've got a plan. It's time to uh, time to get into some uh, Oculus Medium. If you're not familiar with Oculus Medium, it is a 3D sculpting program, and you can uh, export OBJs, and uh, you can take those OBJs and 3D print them, which is pretty cool. This was uh, originally going to be uh, an Oculus Touch unboxing video, but. I really hate unboxing videos, so I'm not even gonna bother showing you that. I will not show you an unboxing video because I hate them. Not gonna happen. I am not showing you unboxing because I hate them. Do this thing! I used to think the Oculus Rift was more comfortable than the Vive, but I sweat more in the Rift than I do in the Vive. I'm not saying I don't sweat in the Vive, because I do. I'm a sweaty pig. I just don't sweat as much. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to work or not. I may have to record this again till I get it right. Weird shaped head.
kind of wish I could feel that, feel the depth. Maybe they should do some more haptics. might be a little too low. Yeah, the resolution is brutal on this. Let's see what we can do here. No, that's not it. Uh, screw up my... It's kind of looking like a face, I guess. It's not perfect, but... See here. What do I have to do? I have to you know, center that. Ah. Center is that right? Up the resolution. Let's see how that works. It's a little better. kind of stuff, you know, someone who pays attention to anatomy and knows faces, that might help. But I'm kind of a hack, so I'm gonna hack it together. We'll get something. but it's a little bit too much just like a donut uh, there we go that's a little smoothing can't fix it's not bad It's actually pretty cool. Maybe I'll add a taper to this. 
Nick me. There we go. I'm going to smooth that. Oh. Cut out these eyeballs. Oh, would that work? That might work. Oh, look at that. Oh, haha, <laughs> kind of worked. actually worked better than I planned. We want to add... <sighs> Sweet! Alright. I think I am just going to... It's not perfect, but it looks pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool, even if it's a l oh no. Oh, I gotta fill there's little gaps in there to fill in. Here. 
we go. Get some pictures. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Alright. Let's be done with this tonight. Here we are in Simplify 3D. I would uh, go into Mesh Mixer, but that program is hateful and I don't really know what I'm doing in it. I stumbled my way through it and got this. I'm going to rotate the object here 90 degrees so it fits on my bed. If I can actually type it in, that is. There we go. And uh, I sliced this very poorly in whatever program I was using. I don't know if I did this in in uh, Oculus Medium or not, but it was not a flat cut. So I am adjusting it so that it'll print slightly below the bed, so it'll be flat and perfect. Looks like I got it. Now I'm going to go into the process here. Uh, make sure everything's cool here. This is just a test print. So I just want it quick so I have it on fast and uh, make sure the temperature is good for PLA. And here we go. Uh, gonna make it go fast. 4,500 uh, millimeters per minute. I think that's like 70 millimeters per second, something like that. And uh, it processed pretty quick even though it's a pretty high poly mesh. And here I am just looking at the layers and the infill. Not really sure what I was supposed to do for infill, but I figure that looks good. Checking to see if the uh, the mouth parts will, will print correctly and, well, I don't really know if they will, but I'm going to try it anyways. So I'm going to send this to the Prusa. I3, Mark II. And once again, the Prusa i3 Mark II proves to be a badass printer. This thing looks fantastic. First try, right out of the gate, flawless. But you know what? We could go bigger. This thing could be big enough for my wall. And there we have it. Just glued the horns on with some super glue. And Bob's your uncle. This really did turn out quite nice. Very pleased with the results. I may have to go onto the Taz and do even bigger. Clearly, that's not enough. We have to go with 
wood filament. Yes, PLA wood filament. Beautiful. Look at that. And with that, I think we're done. I'm tired. This has been a long edit. I don't know what I'm doing. So long.